So if you've been learning on acoustic for a while and you're wondering if you can transition to playing electric, then this video is for you. If you don't know, I've been playing guitar for over 18 months now and in the first year of guitar, I learned solely on an acoustic guitar. Then around about the year mark, I bought my first electric guitar and I've been playing that ever since. And I swap between the two when I practice because I like to play different types of music. So in this video, we're gonna look at some of the similarities and differences and what you can expect from moving from one to the other. I'm also gonna cover seven tips to help you transition from acoustic to electric guitar. So let's get into it. Often described as going from standard steering to power steering on a car, there's three main areas that we need to consider when moving from acoustic to electric guitar. The first of those is the strings. Acoustic guitar strings have a thicker gauge on them and they tend to hurt your fingers for quite some time. I actually did a video quite some time ago about how you can overcome that pain, so if you're new to playing acoustic then check it out. When you first start learning with acoustic, you really have to push quite hard with your fingers. And fretting those notes is very difficult to start with. But over time, you start to build calluses and your fingers get harder and it's easy to play. And you go from playing for a couple of minutes to five minutes to 10 minutes and soon you'll be playing an hour. And that's how long I used to practice for. Once you get through that period of discomfort, you will no longer be distracted by it and you can get on with enjoying the instrument. However, when you transition to an electric guitar, it feels quite awkward. The strings have less tension on them and it's actually easier to fret the notes but because you're used to playing an acoustic you tend to put too much pressure on the strings so after a period of time you get used to that but that's what you can expect when you first move over it's not just the strings that will be different though the neck is actually a lot thinner on an electric guitar so it actually feels a bit more fluid when you're moving around the fretboard and you generally have access to further up the fretboard than you would on an acoustic even if you had a cutaway what I found from moving acoustic to electric was that my finger was a lot more cramped up on the electric guitar. So it took a while to adjust and learn new sort of finger positions and wrist positions. It wasn't a lot of difference, but it was awkward to start with. Another one that isn't always thought about is the shape and thickness of the guitars. So the acoustic is a lot deeper in body than the electric guitar. And that's obvious, but when you first start playing, it feels a bit awkward. It's particularly awkward going from an acoustic because you're used to resting your arm on the body like this. Whereas when you use an electric guitar, you don't really have that purchase. So it's a lot more free and there's a lot more space and the shape just feels generally a bit awkward to start with. Also the weight of the electric is a lot more than an acoustic. So you notice that on your neck and shoulders, particularly if you're wearing a strap and standing up learning to play. Obviously with a strap, I noticed the difference, but if you had, for example, say a Les Paul type guitar, you'd certainly notice it because they're a lot heavier. Acoustic guitars are made from natural materials and create a natural sound. The sound is unmodified and it comes from the body resonating and the top projecting it. When playing acoustic guitar, you strum or pick to generate the sound or melody that you require, and you use the pick to change the volume. The sounds that come from an electric guitar aren't natural, so to speak. They're modified sound. It's certainly a more versatile instrument because it has tonal tools and artificial harmonics like the tremolo or the whammy bar. And you definitely need to learn how to string mute when it comes to playing an electric. In addition to this, fingers sliding up and down the electric guitar allow for a lot more personal expression. So those are the main nuances between the two types of guitar, but if you're looking to move from acoustic to electric, I've got seven quick tips to help you do it. First thing I'd say is learn to tune your guitar every time you play. And I say this because with an acoustic, it doesn't tend to fall out of tune quite as easily as an electric guitar. So just get used to that and form it part of your regime every time you sit down to play. With an electric guitar, the gauge of strings is lighter than that on an acoustic, so your calluses tend to fade away a bit. The only way you keep those is by practicing lots. Start clean when you first start using an amp. And I say this because it's extremely tempting to put some gain down there and really go for it and enjoy yourself. But when you have it on the clean channel, it helps highlight all the errors that you might make when playing guitar. And I certainly use this when I'm playing songs. I'm learning Bold as Love by Jimi Hendrix at the moment. And that's a huge challenge for me. But I keep it on clean because I want to know where my mistakes are until I get to the point I feel I can actually play it. Focus in on some of the techniques that will really help you with progressing your electric guitar playing so legato trills vibrato bends 
All of those things, if incorporated into your practice routine, will help you really progress with your electric guitar playing. And if you don't know how to make a guitar practice schedule, I did a video a few weeks back, so check that out where I took a deep dive into what I do and how I'm forming my practice schedule around my goals and my guitar playing. The next one's particularly for those who've got a whammy bar. Just go easy on it to start with. The important thing is to learn how to use it subtly in order to get it in your playing. It's very tempting at the start to really go for, and it sounds pretty terrible. Once you learn how to use it subtly, it can really influence and sound great on your guitar playing. The next one I would say is use a heavier pick when playing electric guitar. When I was starting to learn on acoustic guitar, I used a light pick and it was quite forgiving, and then I moved up to a medium pick. But since moving to electric, I've moved to a heavier gauge pick, and that's so certainly help when it comes to riffs and solos and melodies for example. The next one to do with gear, and in my opinion I'd say spend more on an amp than you do on a guitar. If you've got a cheap, poorly performing amp and an expensive guitar, it's not going to sound good, it just won't. But if you've got a decent amp and an okay guitar, it'll sound great. So go that route if you're looking to spend your money and that's how I divvy up my budget. If you don't know what amp to get, then I did a video a few weeks back about the Boss Katana and the Positive Grid Spark. Both great beginner guitar amps, I own both and I use them daily, so it's well worth checking out. So that's it for today guys, if you've transitioned between the two, then let me know your thoughts and comments and tips below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.